at the Methvin Tasting Room in Dundee, Oregon. They're sprucing up for an event this weekend. Wine tasting is not the only activity today. There's also smooth sounds, a preview of music that'll take center stage all weekend, virtually and here on site. I hardly get to play with people right now. We've been uh, quarantined. One of the things that's become readily apparent through COVID is our need for the arts. The pandemic has really impacted artists in the Portland area. They can only play live with a lot of safety measures. The Saruman House in the Alberta Arts District has been one of those places. What Saruman House has been doing for 10 years is to create a place for artists to convene and tell their stories so that the artist is uplifted. And during COVID, we have pivoted. We've tried, we've needed to innovate. Everyone needs to innovate during COVID. This Saturday and Sunday, local jazz musicians will perform and raise money for the Ceremony House. It's a chance to once again connect with an audience. A big jazz event that we're super excited about. Shanna Ellis books the performers at the winery. Over the last four months, she's had over 50 days with musicians playing for people in the tasting room. It has never been more important to us to bring our community together. This weekend, virtually, it'll be safe. The in-person safety considerations are number one. Since COVID, the emphasis would be on safety. Because we're all about keeping the audience safe, and we're all about keeping the musicians safe. We have bathroom attendants. We have socially distanced seating, putting the mask wearing. We have hand sanitizer when you come in. All the pens are washed. The bathrooms are going to be washed after every single person that enters the restroom. With performances from the likes of Shelley Rudolph with Tom Grant, Devin Phillips, and Mel Brown. Ultimately, the fundraiser for the Ceremony House will benefit the future of the arts and the musicians working to keep playing. Through this pandemic, for all of us. We need it to heal, we need it to love, we need it to get through and endure. It warms people's hearts and it really gets in people's souls. They feel as though someone has put their hand on their shoulder saying it's okay, we're in this together. In Dundee, Oregon, I'm Stephen Redlin, KGW News. Fire.